Thank you for coming back. It's time to talk to those cops I was telling you about, a couple of cops. <laughs> we have joining us Mike Stroop and Reggie Koch. Thanks for joining us. Welcome back. Thanks, Thanks for having us, Tommy. Yeah. Sherwood Cops. Boy, we are buddies, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> We're here to talk about two things. Cops, the Cops program, mm -hmm. and the third annual National Night Out Sherwood City Watch. Right. Okay, my first question is, what is COPS? Well, COPS, uh, C-O-P-P-S, stands for Community Oriented Policing and Problem Solving. And, uh, you know, Tony, a lot of people think it's a new idea in police work, and really what we're doing is going back to an old idea. Uh, mm -hmm. Years ago, when police work first started, a uh, police officer walked the beat. He knew everybody right. in his area. Mm -hmm. He knew all the children, their names, their birthdays, everything. And it was very effective for law mm -hmm. enforcement. Mm -hmm. As cities grew and, and the automobile came about, the automobile was a great thing for law enforcement because, uh, you know, response times went, went way down. Mm -hmm. But we lost something there, and that was that contact with the community. And that's, that's right. what COPS is about, trying to get us back in the community, back to knowing the people we work for. That's right. And I, I know if, if you watch different cop programs now, that's always the thing that nobody wants to do. The, the lieutenant or whatever will threaten them with, oh, I'll put you back out on the street, and they show them out there with their <laughs> baton walking. But I, I agree. I think it's better to, f I mean, I don't mean to say you guys are looked at as bad guys, because you aren't. You help the community. But a lot of children are brought up thinking, ugh, cops. You Unfortunately. Know? And so now it's, I think, with this program being in effect, then the children can learn to relate and learn to like you guys, because you are, after all, there to help us. We're hoping that's right. the direction that it goes. Right. Now, how are you all chosen as part of this program? Well, the, uh, the chief wanted experienced officers, somebody that's been there for at least three years, mm -hmm. has uh, been in the community working and uh, knows, knows the area. Uh, I've been there for four years, and Reggie, you've been there? Ten years. Ten years, so the chief wanted experienced officers. Mm -hmm. Now, what makes cops different than the regular patrol unit? Well, pretty much, you know, when, if you have a problem at your home and you call a patrolman out and someone vandalizes your mailbox or whatever, mm -hmm. Uh, he takes a report and then he turns it over to someone else. You'll never see him again. A detective will probably call you and they will work on the case. Right. But you, you'll get this feeling that you're forgotten about. Sometimes that, that's been the experience of a lot of people. Uh, cops, uh, what we're empowered to do is to try to follow the problem until it's solved. Stay with mm. you and follow the problem until it's solved. And, and if there's, there's no pass in the buck, we're going to try to stick right with you. We have the authority to circumvent we don't have to go through a sergeant and a lieutenant. Mm -hmm. We can go right to the mayor or right to other city officials or state officials to help you solve your problem. And That's good. That keeps too many people from being involved. Yeah. Well, Doug Belcher was telling me that you guys were chosen by the ones who needed the most exercise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get Doug. I'm going to yeah. get No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm just joking. But tell me, tell me the deal with, with behind that. Well, I, I did volunteer for the program because, you know, when I came, I was 10 years, I've gained about eight, nine pounds a year mm -hmm. in that patrol car, you know, sitting in that patrol car. Uh, you, you, they don't want you out of it too much. They want you in, in patrolling, you right, know, and, uh, right. um, and this, I volunteered for this program partially. Of course, I want to meet people and I enjoy the job, but partially because it's an opportunity to break away from that patrol car, right. get out and get on the bicycles because we right. do have the bicycles now right. because they slow us down, get us back where we can meet the public mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. So that was that was part of the idea behind that, and, and I'm all for it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was wanting to hit on and let everyone know that you're not just out there walking on foot. If they recognize the bicycles, then they'll they'll know what program they're dealing with and what exactly what's going on. Yeah. Exactly. Now we need to talk about the third annual National Night Out Sherwood City Watch. What's going on this year? Yeah, that's going to be on August 9th. And we've got a lot of things going on. It's going to start about 8 o'clock in the morning. We've got uh, the Celebrity Softball Tournament, that's starting at 9 a.m. We've got teams from all the television and radio stations going to come out and play, uh, a lot of some celebrities out there. We've got uh, fireworks that night. Mm -hmm. This should be a really nice fireworks display. It's been, it's been a really good one every year we've had. We're also going to have a static helicopter uh, display from Camp Robinson. Oh. Uh, the hot air balloons hopefully will, will be there. Mm -hmm. uh, th they're giving away some great prizes this year. Southwest Airlines has donated uh, two or three uh, pairs of 
round trip tickets anywhere right. they fly. They're going to be giving those away. Uh, Union Pacific Railroad donated a watch. It's beautiful. I wish I'd win that. <laughs> uh, the Seiko watch with their emblem on it uh -huh. and, and some other paraphernalia from, from Union Pacific Railroad and just a lot of uh, giveaway things. And uh, it should be a great thing to bring the family out to. And of course, the celebrity—I can't talk—celebrity <laughs> softball tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, are you going to play? By the way? Uh, no, don't make that <laughs> offer again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know y'all have a team out there. I was, yeah, yeah, but I'm not going to. No, I'm not going to oh, okay. play. If anything, I'll be there cheering them on. Oh, on the okay. Sidelines. All right. Well, yeah. we'll be there, so we'll <laughs> see you there. Tell us how it's gone in the past. This is the third year for this. Oh, National Night Out has been great in mm -hmm. the past. The fireworks display. Uh, he was talking about, you know, that's comparable to Riverfest. When I first saw it, I was like, wow, this is mm -hmm. this is not somebody just sitting off some bottle rockets. Mm -hmm. This is a professional crew comes in, does a fireworks show. Um, the uh, They've had Hoop Fest out there. Uh, a lot of people show. It's been great so far. This is our third one, so we're hoping this one's as good as the, as yeah, the ones we're before. we're looking forward to it. Right. Now, speaking of that softball tournament, that's always a big deal, a big oh, yeah. part of oh, yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So who's supposed to win this year? Well, Sherwood, I Sherwood, think. Sherwood, please. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, so. yeah, we'll have to see about that. Get the now, trophy back. Yeah, yeah, right. But what, how, you guys lost it to who? Who did you Arkansas lose it to? Arkansas Democrat Gazette, is that right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, they say they stacked the team on us, so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how things go this year. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In order to beat you guys, they had to have something up their sleeve. <laughs> now, another thing I want to get back to the COPS program. How have you. How's it working? I mean, we're talking about it, it going on, but I want to know how's it working? How are you guys liking it being it's, in the community? It's like going that? great. The the people love seeing us out there, talking to them, getting to know them. Uh, this this is something that I think is going to stay stay in mm -hmm. the community. This is something we're always going to be doing now. We're getting to know everybody out there. Uh, the other day, the other morning, we were out riding our bikes about six o'clock in the morning, and we caught a kid breaking into a house. Oh my goodness. He didn't know he lived there. I did. We're riding side by side, and I'm like, uh, look at this. Mm -hmm. and, and so we, we, we confront the guy, and he a, knows he lives there. In a patrol car, you wouldn't have been able to see it, but we were on our bikes early in the morning. We saw it, and you know, luckily he lived there, and I knew that, and it just... Uh, just trying to get in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Coming home late or something, yeah. yeah. But it's, it's a good program, and the people like it, and we like it also. Yeah. Well, that's great. That's great to... I can't stress more how being in the community helps. I can't stress that anymore. I mean, and it's great that you guys in Sherwood have picked up on that because you need to have somebody there, some sort of authority figure that you can turn to if you need them besides when a disaster strikes, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. That's right. So tell me about you, any other biking experiences? Well, it's just been great, you know, getting out and, and riding with the kids. Uh, the kids know all the trails. I mean, I've been a, a policeman in Sherwood uh, working on 10 years now, and, uh, and I'm learning. I'm, I'm learning more now than I ever have before. The kids will tell you, oh, we'll show you this trail. We'll show you a shortcut through here. And mm -hmm. they know it, and yeah. I'm learning from them. Yeah. I'm taking advantage of learning from the kids, for sure. Yeah. Well, one thing that, that could be mistaken is that a, a police officer on a bicycle can't do as much as a police officer in a car. A lot of people ask me that. They'll say, well, how are you going to stop a car on your bicycle? Well, you know, we're not out for traffic enforcement. Mm -hmm. If we yeah. see a, a severe violation, we'll try to get on the radio and see if there's a patrolman in the area that can stop the car, and maybe we'll ride over and issue the person a citation. But we're not out for traffic enforcement. Mm -hmm. We're out to, uh, to meet the people in the neighborhood. Um, certainly, we can solve some crimes on the bicycles. We've had one officer, Officer Lance Goff, uh, uh, solved uh, several burglaries uh, by happening up on some people, hmm. and uh, he was able to clear some burglaries that way. Good. And uh, so we'll be solving some crime on the bicycle, but we're not focusing on, on traffic enforcement on the bicycle. And we still have our cars. If we have a traffic problem, if that's the complaint in a neighborhood, and that has been a lot of complaints and speeders and stuff, we have our, we have our vehicles and, and we'll be taking care of that that way. Okay. Well, thank you, Reggie and Mike, for joining us today, and um, good luck on your City Watch this year, your third annual, and um, you guys keep pedaling. Thanks, Tony. Okay. Thanks right. for having us here. Okay. Come back and join us for a little more Take 38.